Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of... Who's that? <laughs> I actually did shave. A lot of people are asking, dude, did you really, really shave? In all reality, yes, I did. It was time. I have no reason to tell anybody why I did it, but I will. My mom. I took care of my mama. Need a nice seal, because I won't allow anybody in my mama's house without any kind of mask. I, you have to have a mask and you have to have gloves. I even told my brother Lloyd Davis that just said, wow. Told him, hey, nobody goes in there without something on their, their face and something on their hands. So, yes, I did shave my beard. First time in almost 10 years. Feels really, really weird. Really weird. But, um, you know, when this, when this thing's over, and trust me, people, I have a funny feeling this is going to go over a lot easier than what a lot of people are fearing and everything else. So keep your, keep your faith, keep your hygiene, love your neighbors, take care of the elderly. That's why I cut my beard. You know, I'm sitting here working on a good friend and brother of mine, Sonny's Yellowtail, getting ready to make a production piece out of this. So once again, if you need a 30-pound, 43-inch Pacific Yellowtail, I will have one. Eventually, I will have a open mouth version as well because once I get this tooled and everything else, I'm going to go ahead and pull the head out again from the freezer and I'm going to go ahead and make an open mouth set. So, you know, when you're, let's, let's talk about taxidermy because that's what we're about, right? Channel Islands Fin and Feather, taxidermy. A goldfish. Anyways, a goldfish, what I was saying. Oh, as a taxidermist, you know. You want to make sure that you're thinking about what you're doing on your fish. Especially if you're making a reproduction, you don't want to sit there and just go for it. Think about it. Sit on it. You don't, you don't just sit there and, and just go and jump off a freaking roof without going, where am I going to land? So you want to make sure that you're thinking it through. Like I got a 10-pound bass that I'm doing for my brother Joe Gugala. We're going to do both... Uh, open mouth and a closed mouth set on that as well and we're also going to be doing it to where it's in such a pose that you can have it on the wall and it'll look like it's spinning for you know for its prey or whatever and then also be able to throw it at that angle with the open mouth set it's gonna you know you do your water work you do your water piece and boom you got two different poses and if you're doing an open mouth and a closed mouth then that's even more because you're, you're talking at least three to four positions you can put that thing in and create different things. Now don't don't forget that if it's turned this way, like it's coming this to the right, so it's turning its head to the right, you can also do it this way where you're showing the backside. As long as you don't have too much of a curve, because you, you don't want too much of a curve anyways, that first part of that bass doesn't turn. Think about it. you got to think about your anatomy. So these things being said, I want to I want to give a shout out to Sonny. Love you, brother. My prayers are with you, man. I know 2020 sucks. That's what I saw you post, you know, and sometimes life does suck. But you know what? There's going to be silver lining on that. How you doing, Zachary Gage? <sighs> I'm not Neil Diamond, bro. Or not Neil Diamond, Neil Young. His old lady, Haley. <laughs> God bless your sister. Said I look like... Neil Young, Southern man, don't need him around anyhow. Anyways, so you want to you wanna give gratitude to all your customers, those that have faith in you and what you're going to do and that you're going to back up what you say you're going to do. So if you're, if you're a taxidermist, you know that when someone brings you a piece, that's a special piece. It's not just a fish. It's not just a bird. It's not just a deer. It's absolutely something that they love so much that they entrust you what's up brother tom Wah! anyways they trust you enough to to get it done so get it done don't mess around take things serious and sonny thank you and god bless you for trusting me with this i know it's taken a while it's been well over a year and i'm putting everything i got into this thing and i've been doing a lot of study on it, it you know, I spent thousands of dollars just to learn the proper techniques to do it at a higher level rather than just slap some fiberglass on it and go, here you go. 
I don't want it to look like a fiberglass car. I want it to look so real that you're like, really, dude? Is it, are you sure this isn't a skin mount? So that being said, I want to wish everybody some love, some peace, and some, some reassurance that no matter who you are, no matter what you believe, you're alive today. Get out there and go breathe some air. Go love on somebody. Like I always, always say, go help somebody. Go help a little old lady across the street. See if they need some milk or eggs or whatever it is, you know? And it's just, it is what it is. And Brian, if you're ready, let me know and we'll get that silicone ordered, bro, for sure. Anyways, you know, you just got to be nice. You got to get out there and do what you got to do. And most of all, you got to listen to your heart and your gut. You got to be happy, happy, happy. Ah, you guys thought I wasn't going to carry a beard with me? But anyways, tonight in the ceremony, I'm going to light a fire. I'm going to face the west, and I'm going to say a prayer. And I'm going to put my beard in the fire. And I'm going to say goodbye to a long season, 10 seasons. Actually, 10 years of seasons of a beard. I'm not saving none of it. I'm giving it back to the earth. And I'm going to go ahead and start new. And there's big things in the future for all of us. And don't forget that. For me personally, I do take my mom's health serious. A lot of people call me a germaphobe. Give me crap. So what? I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. My mom's the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that matters to me. So let me make that clear. But I love you and I love the crap that everybody's been giving me. I've heard all kinds of things from, like even my mom, when I got out of the truck, I made her come to the door because I won't get within a certain amount of distance beyond what social distance is, um, whatever you want to call that crap. And I pulled, jumped out of my truck, stood up. She literally did a double take thinking Zach was driving the truck. And I go, Zach, get out. We both got out. My mama, my mama loves it. So, you know, it's not just for her safety. It's also to make sure that she gets to see me, you know, see me ready to do things. And have that beautiful face that she fell in love with. I don't think it's a beautiful face. I don't know how you guys can stand this face. But anyways... All right. Yeah. Hey, Brian, PM me, dude. We'll get that ordered, man. Got quite a few fish ahead. I think about four, maybe five, but uh, we'll get on that, man, because that's, uh, it's, it's on the list, brother. Don't think I'm not taking it serious and don't think I'm blowing you off, brother. I want to say that to all my customers, all my friends that have pieces with me. You know, life's been crazy with my mom falling twice in a year that needed hospitalization, my son having health issues, the whole nine yards. I'm not making excuses, but those are the reasons why I'm backed up a little bit on my work. That plus, I refuse to just bust something out and just say, here you go. No, I'm going to put my heart and soul in it, every piece. You're not buying, okay, so it's $30 an inch for a fish. You're not paying $30 an inch for a fish. You're paying $30 an inch for over 10 years of taxidermy training, a lifetime of art training, and you're paying for a part of my heart and soul because... I love you enough to take on your piece. I'm going to put my heart and soul and I'm not going to stop until it's proper. Look at my eyes. Look at my face. That's who I am. Those who know me know that's who I am. Just want to say thank you to everybody for all the love and the support. Yes, my mom was shocked, Jennifer. Matter of fact, everybody, this is Jennifer. Never met her in person, but she she's with the insurance company. Well, it's, she works in the health field. When my mom fell the first time, she helped me along with my mom. Love you to death, sister. You, you just don't even know how much I love you for it. And I want to say thank you to all the people that have helped me with my mom through this journey. So just, you know, get out there. And and thank you, Brian. My brother, Brian, everybody. Thank you, man. I love the love. And just uh, trying, to, trying to just keep it into perspective not trying to get all emotional thinking about everything because I'm so blessed and I'm so happy with my life. If God called me home today, I know I could go home and be satisfied and, and look him in the face. If you can look God in the face and say, I served you, Father God. Served you best I could. Work in progress. Obviously, my work was done. You know, that's what it's about. I want to give a shout out to my sisters. Give a shout out to my brothers, John Hartley. I love you, man. That, that is one man I really, truly love. Same with Tiffany Velasquez, my sister. 
awesome, awesome mom, living her, her life stream of being a mom and just being a good Christian and a good sister. Love you, Betsy. All right, amen. God bless everybody. Go help somebody. Be nice. Oh, shout out to Travis Escalante from the mattress place. I am, I'm real, that's why they call me Goldfish. I can't really remember your name or the name of your company. But I'll tell you what, brother. On a day that everybody needed to see something of beauty, and for you to sit there and do a live feed in the rain, and a rainbow landing on Lake Casitas, man, it made me cry, brother. It made me cry with joy that I said a prayer there one day, fishing by myself. I said, dear God, I don't want to be a, com a competitive fisherman, but this is what I want to do for my life. I love this so much. This is who I am. I've been this way since I was a little boy. A little boy. And he answered it. And when I saw that rainbow, Travis, man, off your live feed, I took a snapshot of it. By the way, my profile pic, photo credit goes to Travis Escalante. All right, enough rambling on from this idiot. I'm going to get back to work. Uh, I think it's uh, actually past lunch, so... I better get my butt to the to the pharmacy, get my mom or her meds, go over and go fill her pill boxes and check on her. I've already been by tw uh, once today and, and called her like three or four times. And call your loved ones. Give your loved ones a hug. Not from a distance. You know, be safe, be smart. You know, be sanitary. But thanks again. And thanks for all the support. Love every single one of you. Go help somebody. God bless you.